Howdy ho! Hey, girl gang, what up, everybody? Good to see you guys. I hope you all are having a fantastic weekend so far. Thank you for coming here and spending a little bit of it with the girl gang. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know and for everybody who does, our girl is real, real pissed off. Real pissed off. She had a little mega meltdown, mini meltdown on her community tab. She's lashing out at your girlfriend. She can't imagine why. But yeah, she's big pissed. So we're going to take a look at the community tab. And then, of course, we're going to be reacting to her video. Cooking an Arabic breakfast. Cooking an Arabic breakfast a year and this stupid english major wannabe still can't figure out when to use arab and when to use arabic idiot and you know what i would go as far as to say why don't you just call it a kuwaiti style breakfast because i never seen a breakfast like that before in my life just saying oh yeah she is pig mad big big pig bad she offered me chin spanks that's right yeah that's right like anyone else on this fucking planet Earth gives a damn about a chin spank besides her just so self-conscious ass. You keep your chin spanks, honey. You're the one who needs them. Mm -hmm. Catnip, thank you for the super chat. I missed the live yesterday, but egg farts. Ah, bringing that Friday energy to a Saturday stream. I'm here for it, girl. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Wonder how long before the community tabs are deleted? Yeah, she doesn't usually delete the ones about me. I've noticed that. MB, thank you for the super chat. Good day, Frenchie and Girl Gang. What a way to spend a Sunday morning. Well, happy Sunday morning to you. I love it how Australia y'all are living in the future. We <laughs> enjoy the future. <laughs> um, but were they Arabic chin spanks? <laughs> oh my god. She's insane absolutely insane just completely lost her shit no no lost her shit isn't fair because that implies she ever had it she's got no shit to lose hmm? hey nasa jen thank you for the super chat literally eating a bag of popcorn and drinking a coke zero oh that sounds so nice you know i haven't had a freaking coke zero in days what with being sick like this at all i have been drinking water Water with like drops in it to give it a flavor. But water still, it's been disgusting. I can't wait to feel myself again. That's how I know when I'm not myself. When I drink, you know, water. What is this? Ah. Anyway, y'all, listen. You love popcorn? Hey, wifey number three. <laughs> I love popcorn too. Nothing wrong with some popcorn. What is she mad about? Oh, well, that's a great question. What is she mad about? What could she possibly be mad about? What, why does that not pop up, up on me? Wow, that's interesting. Huh. I just wanted to pop a message on the screen, but it didn't come up on the stream yard, but I saw it on the side chat. Rude. What is she mad about? What could she possibly be mad about? Oh, I know. Her fake husband. 
her fake husband. Anyway, we'll see if you guys get the same vibe from this video as I do, but her eyes are looking crazy. Her eyes are looking like she's been crying for hours and, you know, waddled her sorry ass to the kitchen to make some food. She looks uh, extra fucked up in this video that we're going to watch. I would guess that they've been fighting. Hmm? And when she's mad at him and she can't lash out at him because she's also trying to keep him and blah, blah, blah. She lashes out at me. This has been a pattern since Poopgate began, you know, disgusting, absolutely cowardly and disgusting, but that's fine. Lash out at whoever you need to, you psychopath. Sissy Wolfcat, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. Ah, indeed. That's a good point too. It is approaching the end of the month and she wants a little attention. Uh, she does like to end the month strong. Something tells me this would have been an exceptionally shitty month for her, YouTube-wise. So, yeah. Yeah. Wanting to end the month strong, try, you know, start a little drama, take out your rage on an undeserving person because you're mad at your scat man, but you can't say a fucking word to him about it. Jessica Smith, thank you for the super chat. Chantal mentioning yesterday that making fun of fat people may affect children who are fat, but then tries to fat shame me. Yes, I'm a child who is fat. Don't fat shame me. <laughs> no, I don't care. She can fat shame me all she wants. She thinks it does something because that's her biggest insecurity. And she can't stand when people comment about her weight because she lives deeply in denial about her body, about her weight, about her looks, about everything to do with herself, her personality, her everything, right? I don't live in that state of denial, uh, never claim to be a skinny, never claim to be a good looking, never claim to be better looking than 95% of YouTube. So when you point out to a self-aware fatty that they are fat, it's like, yes, and? You know what I mean? It doesn't affect others the way it affects Chantal. So she really thinks saying that I need a chin spanks does a goddamn thing to me, moves an inch of me, you know, it just doesn't. But heifer, when you open up that door, understand I'm going to shred your looks today. And I do know how deeply it hurts you. So be careful when you poke a bear, the reaction that you're going to get back because we know you're going to sit and fucking cry about it. And we do know that you watch every goddamn word that is said on this channel. You you stole you stole you stole the shtick the other day. You came up with shtick out of nowhere. Suddenly hijab is speaking Yiddish on her channel, taking things from this channel. Uh, as we're going to see momentarily in the community tab post where she mentions me eating an entire pineapple for dinner. How would she know that? I said that here the other day. The irony of that statement is that uh, to me, that's like, oh, no, no, you don't do that. You don't eat a whole pineapple for dinner. That's not me flexing. I'm such a healthy, skinny queen. I ate an entire pineapple to myself for dinner. That's me like, holy fuck, I ate a lot of sugar for dinner. Um, to Chantal, eating an entire pineapple for dinner seems healthy because she doesn't know anything about anything. Um, I don't eat that kind of sugar for dinner. Like, no, 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 no. That's me getting hot, getting too baked and giving in too far. You know what I mean? She thinks it's some kind of a flex about being a healthy. She is so fucking delusional about what healthy actually is. Alec, thank you for the super chat. You live rent free in Chantal's but Hell yeah, I do. Hell yeah, I do. Ay, ay, ay. A whole casserole she eats. That's a good point. Toasted taters, she eats an entire pot pie, family-sized pot pie alone, and has a word to say about a goddamn pineapple for dinner? Yikes. Hey, Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Maybe clear to go home on Monday? That's great. I hope you do go home on Monday. That would be what fantastic. Not to mention the uh, acidic content of the pineapple. Didn't that hurt your tongue, FFG? No, it did not. I'm like immune I don't know. I eat too many like oranges and citrus and things like that. I don't get those kind of things on my tongue at all. Pineapples eat you back. <laughs> Norwegian Gina, thank you for the super chat. Happy Friday, everyone. What? Happy Friday. Finally, some entertainment. I've been trap watch. Wow. For 48 hours trying to rescue a stray cat. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. I hope you catch them. Damn. Thank you for doing that. That's great. Chin's never had pineapple. Yeah. She'd rather just, you know, like Burger King her food. Like, 
she just, I don't know. It's not just her. It's a lot of people in this community. I understand a lot of the people in this community, let's say, are North American and that typical kind of North American fatty diet I know does include a shit ton of like fast food and stuff. Mine just does not. That doesn't make me a skinny. I don't claim to be a skinny, but I also don't eat a lot of fast food. I don't know what's so hard with some people in North America to like even comprehend that you could be a fatty, but not on Burger King. You know, I am a fatty because I overeat fucking good food that I make at home. You know what I mean? You overeat your fat. It is what it is. But you don't have things like handful of pills to take every day. Uh, the fear of losing a foot to the beatus. And you're able to work on your, you know, standing up all day and stuff. It's, uh, there's levels to fat behavior, in my opinion. You know, that's all. You never claim to be a skinny. Of course, I've never claimed to be a skinny. I'm not an insaney. Julie, thank you for the super chat. Frenchie, you know she loves you. She's upset, right? She even took a variation of your name. Wow. We get it, Jen Zirla. You know, you're kind of right. <laughs> Freaky. She looks so swollen. She looks so swollen and her eyes look wild like she has been crying a lot, you know? And anyway, uh, spoiler alert, she's going to be sweating so hard at the end of this video and it's such a basic bitch breakfast. It's like... Yikes, man. Yikes. Just yikes. If you get that sweaty doing fuck all in the kitchen, I don't know. It's no wonder you don't film things like making the chicken pot pie. You would be filming yourself like just like leaking down into it. And that's kind of disgusting. Just saying. Pineapples give you heartburn. Oh, that sucks. I'm so sad for you. I love pineapples so much. Nothing gives me heartburn. I have the heart of a fatty too. It just goes, man. Ah. <laughs> uh, Anyway, y'all, listen, we're going to start with the minor community tab rage. Okay, minor. <laughs> and then we'll get into our react, all right? Norwegian Gina, thank you again for the super chat. All right, I was confused there for a second. I'm like, all right, listen, Norwegian Gina wants to live a day in the past. Let her be. Happy Friday. <laughs> Happy Saturday, whatever it is. Stay warm, girl. All right, y'all, let me get the first tab and let's get into this. All right, here's the meltdown on the community tab. God, six hours ago. So this person repeatedly says my hands look like trotters. Yup. Seems a bit hypocritical. No, no. The only thing girl world knows that uh, what to do best is project. And no, this is not Photoshop. This is literal screenshot, LOL. Haven't looked in a mirror in years, huh? <laughs> Well, okay, not Photoshop because they're all too stupid to know how to use Photoshop. Um, but that's not what my fingers look like. Like I'm looking down at my hands right now. Again, not claiming to be a skinny, but I am claiming to be somebody who works with machinery, works with my hands and arms specifically all day long. You can say a lot about me. My arms are fucking jacked. It is what it is. Like, Sorry, not sorry, okay? Does not make me a skinny. Does not mean that I'm not a fatty. But that's some fuckery going on with your little picture. Don't mind saying it, okay? It is what it is, Chantal. If you need to alter the picture that much to prove a point, you have not proven a point. And I don't think that coming for specifically my hands or my arms up to the elbows is, or my legs is the shot that you think it is. Fucking... They're like made of steel, girl. I I have like ripped fucking arms. Um, there have been men in my life who have said how disgusting the arms that I have are because they are so goddamn ripped. I think that they're just jealous because they wish they had arms ripped like mine. But yeah, my hands, my arms, my legs are fucking strong as all hell and like steel. Okay. Choose your battles, Gunty. That wasn't the swing that you think it was. It was more of a swing and a miss. You're you're a whole ass wreck, Chantal. Your hands look like dough, okay? Popping fresh, just like the rest of your fucking body does. That's the difference between you and me, for example, and what you choose to dwell on for no reason. Your entire body looks like that. You are a death fat from fat forehead to funkel toes and every single piece in between. There's not one inch of you. When, when would you ever say something on you is ripped besides your fat mouth because that's the only thing that ever runs? Hmm? nothing. You are literally obese from head to toe. 
Don't be jealous, okay? Like Peanut pointed out, there are different levels of fat. Normal people fat, and then death fat, and every other fat in between. Stay mad, death fat, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ, she's nuts. All right, next one. Ah, oh, this one. Listen, SpongeBob, there is uh, no way you have the nerve to try and lecture your audience on my morality or behavior when you are sleeping with and defend a convicted CP. I got nothing to say about this one. Y'all know exactly how I feel about this bitch, Kaya, okay? I'm not definitely not here to defend Kaya. But, I mean, I will just add that Chantal has defended multiple convicted CPs. It's literally the reason Marty got involved with her because of the Cyrax thing. Exactly. And we all remember her trying to defend Karate Joe after everybody found out about Karate Joe. Okay. And here is the last one she put up. Can I recommend some chin spanks if you want? No, I don't want. That's the difference between you and me, you fat bitch. Also, why the F are you commenting on what I eat? You didn't get this way by eating an entire pineapple for dinner. Just saying. Thanks for letting us know that you hear every goddamn word that I say without letting us know that you watch. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Do, do you think that the pineapple that I ate for dinner is the only food that I've eaten in my lifetime? No. Um, you know what I've never eaten in my lifetime though? An entire pot pie. Made an entire pot pie and then sat there and ate it to myself. Never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> she thinks that pointing out that pineapple thing, again, she thinks that was some kind of a skinny flex. What? Girl, it's not a skinny flex. You should not be eating an entire pineapple in one sitting. Even non-diabetics, myself included, don't need all that sugar. I'm still pushing 40. You still got to be careful of what you eat and like the amount of like salt and sugar and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, nobody was flexing with eating a whole pineapple for dinner. That is the stupidest thing. She's so dumb. That wasn't a pot pie. That was a casserole dish. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Cause a pie dish could only be so big. Got to make it an entire casserole dish so that there's more. I eat a whole pineapple. Listen, no shame. <laughs> no shame at all. Uh, I don't, I, you know, listen, I don't know. Nobody needs that much sugar. Fair. If you want to eat a whole goddamn pineapple for dinner, eat a whole goddamn pineapple for dinner. Here's the difference. Many of us go to work all day. If I want to come home and eat a fucking pineapple for dinner, like who the fuck cares? But I did not say that thinking, hey guys, look at me. I'm a skinny legend. And I just took down all that goddamn sugar for dinner. And I'm trying to skinny flex on you bitches with it. No. Not at all. But FFG, she used to eat, uh, she used whole wheat flour and oil. It's clearly healthy. Yes, clearly fucking healthy. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know. Again, uh, there's no point in this argument every time. She loves to put up this picture because I have more chins than she does. Fair. Okay. Keep pointing, like keep using this picture. If it makes you feel better about your useless self, good for you. Good for you. If if my chin is the motivation for you to not end it all, you know what, Chantal? Good for you. Just understand that where I am called little boy butt, because I have a little boy butt attached to my super ripped steel-like legs, okay? You wear my chins on your thighs and ass probably 52 times, okay? When you lift your arms up in the air and give them a shake, ready, set, bees, there's three of my chins flapping on your underarm that don't exist on mine, okay? Understand, not every fatty is built the same way. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm in no fear of being housebound, nor do I need to hire somebody else to clean my home because I can't bend over and do it myself. Not every fatty is built the same way. So enjoy your ass so deep and fat that Salad wouldn't even be able to reach it if he wanted to. Uh, enjoy your scat, men. Enjoy the fact that the first time you turned your back, your loser, incel, woman-hating, fake fuck of a husband cheated on you and will do it again every single time he has the chance to, okay? Enjoy that. That's the bed that you and your fucking chin spanks made. Now sleep in it. You self-loathing, desperate, 
disgusting, blue cheese smelling, sad excuse of a Funkle baby uh, who is hated universally by everyone. And that does include your incel fake fuck of a husband. So whatever makes you feel better, honey, you just keep looking at my chins, okay? <laughs> How about you take off the chin spank for once, come out without all your filters, without any fucking makeup at a friend's house, which I was in this picture. Uh, you just replicate this picture. I fucking dare you, cow, okay? <laughs> we all know you couldn't because you're too fucking self-loathing. I don't give a fuck. Ah! So that was her angry as all hell this morning. Why? Because she chooses to fake marry an incel who hates women who cheated on her the first chance that he got. And now, because he is such an embarrassment of a fool, she doesn't have her fa uh, her couple's channel anymore. She can't pull out her fake husband anymore. And she certainly can't be all, where's your husband? Where's your ring anymore? That's what she's actually mad at. So channel your rage at the person you're really mad at and stay off of my fat chin. <laughs> How about that, you fucking weirdo? Jessica, thank you for the super chat. Theory, they have been fighting because she wanted to see his phone and he said no. Could definitely be. Why not? I don't believe he stopped, you know, talking to women at all. I think he's maybe just a little smarter about it now. He, You know, people tend to learn a lesson, get a little more smart, get a little more sneaky, get a little more. Yes, don't say it. I get the same notifications that we all do. <laughs> I will load up her tab. We'll let it simmer. Let her simmer so we can speed her up. Okay. And then we will go in. Yeah, everybody gonna she's live, she's live, she's live, she's live. I know, I know, I know. We all get the same notifications. Okay. Let it simmer for a few minutes so we can speed her boring, slow, slob ass up. Okay. Me Marie, thank you for the super chat. I wish I could share my mom's Oh girl, post on Twitter. Yay, yeah, yeah. Please do. Oh, I want to see it. That's awesome. Barely alive. Bloop. <laughs> Ladies, now's your chance to send scat boy Freeman. Oh, yeah. That's just what everybody is like dying to do. Amy Friedman, thank you for the super chat. You are not enormous, disfigured, or gluttonous. She is. Listen, I'm pretty enormous. I'm not disfigured. My chin might be. Uh, I am very fucking gluttonous. Let's just be honest here. But I can still function as a functioning member of society. Ray, are you behind or did you just want to say it too? Foodie is live. We know we're letting her simmer for just a couple of minutes so that we can speed her up. Because watching her in real time, not sped up, makes me lose the will to live. Okay. Just a couple of minutes. Do you weld? No, I don't weld, but I do work with metal all day. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Del, thank you for the super chat. She's so angry and frustrated. Just Give in and let him pee on you, Chantal. I hear you're in for a real treat. You're such a dick. <laughs> she's desperate to have him urine and anything else on her, but he's not into her like that, unfortunately for her. Boop. Aaron Van Casey, thank you for the super chat. She's a miserable, jealous hag. Hugs from Michigan. Well, thank you. She definitely is. Again, I'm every like I'm everything. No. Listen, she'd want to be a skinny. I want to be a skinny. But in terms of accepting your fat fate, <laughs> I should say I'm everything she wants to be in a fatty. I still live my life. You know what I mean? I still flirt. I still have, a, you know, healthy relationships in my life. I'm not self-loathing. I can eat standing out in public. Uh, I don't give a shit if people are looking at my ass or, you know what I mean? She hates that. She hates the sense of humor I have about fat. And she hates that. Absolutely. Anna, thank you for the super chat. At the weight that she's at, if she was really eating healthy and following the diet from the doc, she would be losing 20 plus pounds a month. Absolutely. It would be falling off of her. The first few months would be incredibly easy. She would be seeing, you know, visible results, which are so fucking motivating. It, it should be easy when you're that big. It's like you're Going out of your way to not lose it at that size, honestly. Alec, thank you for the super chat. Those photos of you are taken underneath you. Of course, they show your chin. 15, uh, 115 pound women 
will look the same from that angle. Right. Well, I mean, but that's why she loves that one so much. And like, let her love it. I, I don't give two shits. But yes, absolutely. Uh, retired redneck. Thank you for the super chat. What a time to <laughs> hello. <laughs> thank you for being here. She can't stand the peep gawking. Of course not. Of course not. She's she hates herself. She is self-loathing. She's uh, so uncomfortable in her own skin. She doesn't want anybody looking at her. She doesn't want to look at herself. Aaron, thank you for the super chat. Why is she legitimately embarrassing herself? She thinks they're flexes. She thinks it's not embarrassing. This is just who she is. <laughs> Mortifying. Ted Bestwell, thank you for the super chat. She has Tammy Slayton forehead, LOL. She absolutely does. Yeah, she absolutely does. Her eyes are getting smaller and smaller. I've been watching her again seven years, right? What you could say seven years ago about Chantal, no matter how hideous she was, was like, wow, you have really big eyes. She did seem to have really big eyes. The fat is swallowing up her eyes. She doesn't have those big eyes anymore. So the one thing you might have said was like a nice feature on her face no longer exists. Wah, wah. Can be. Thank you for the super chat. Adidas fits FFG. Good point. Shinny fits sheets and dress. Shit. Listen, she's forced to Pennington's and Torrid and stuff. You know what I mean? That's why she used to come from my dusty, crusty Adidas tops. Because her dusty, musty ass couldn't fit into any, you know? Stay mad. Zesty, thank you for the super chat. You know how legs sometimes swell over tight socks? That's how her face looks. It definitely does. Definitely. Oh, I was so excited to watch this video. Listen, we're still going to watch this video, but we'll watch her live first, okay? Because I know that's what y'all want, a, a little snippety snipe, see what's going on. I totally get that. But we're watching the video after because she looks a fucking wreck, man. Chancy, thank you for the super chat. I never will. Fuck it. Call me mean all you want, community. Y'all can get fucked and you're too soft. How about that? If you call me mean, I call y'all too soft. <laughs> Stay soft, bitches. Swamp Boogie Sue, thank you for the super chat. Of course, Chantal is hard up for money. She can rent out salad as a cure for jellyfish stings. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Flutes Magoots, thank you for the super chat. Hey, foodie, we know you and MC Scat Matt are watching. The only people who think you're pretty are Funkel, Phil, and Shmi. The rest of us have eyes. Well said. Absolutely well said. Jerry's Keeper, thank you for the super chat. Don't forget to add that you don't need YouTube money. Uh, goes without saying. At this point, everybody knows that. She's in denial about that, but this is not my legacy, you know? <laughs> She's insane. All right, have we let her simmer long enough? Shall we go in and take a little dipsy, a little dip into the deep end and see what's going on? And if the water is cold and boring, we will always dip out, okay? We do have that video to watch. So we have like options today, which is nice. Room temp cat puke. Ugh, thank you for the super chat. I bet she turns the lights off when she showers. Yeah, I bet she does. Well, I just like it romantic in there, guys. I lit a few candles, you guys. Sure, we know. Please don't slip. She's boring. Well, I mean, to be fair, though, Luminara, she's always boring. It's it's what we do, all right? Let me get the tab. We'll take a little look-see, decide if it's worth it, and you know, you know how we do. We'll speed her ass up, and all right, hold on. Let me get it. In pace. Lord. <laughs> Hi, Gloria. <laughs> You're the first one to be here. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> What's going on? And I said, hey, hey. Oh my God, Lilith, hey. I saw. Thank you for the super chat. Awful. I said, hey. What's going on? Imagine it was just me and you in this chat the entire time. Julia. Hi, Orange Julep, T.Y., Darren A., Ghostface. <laughs> Just recent troll account. Nicolina, Haley, hello, Haley. Amy, Island Dragonfly. Yes, it's 12.22 a.m. That's why I look like crap. Hi, Sharon, Caroline, Jimmy Jim Jim, Allison, Tiffany Beezer, Lisa B. 
Okay, it's after midnight. Chantal is clearly alone. Make up because she's had fuck all to do all night. Now she's going to try and convince us what? They just came home. They were out doing something. Blah, 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 bullshit. She's alone. She has fuck all to do. And she's been playing in the makeup. No, uh, that doesn't look like makeup that has left the house. It's not dripping off of her fat face yet. This is what she was doing out of boredom. In my opinion. He's her puppy. Hey, Stan. You're vaping? I haven't. I don't have my vape in, around me, so I'm not going to be vaping, but. Enjoy what flavor? Twizzler, just ate. Hello, the Ace Deuce family. Dreaming of Everest. Messy. Welcome, salam, little doll. Hi, Italian. Hello. Beautiful lady right back at you. Melanie, dumb rum. Kiki, 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 kiki. Stephanie, you're catching my live. What's going on? Evie Beauty, hello. Soapy Joe, 322 in Texas. Burr, I guess. <laughs> you photoshopped my picture. Nope, not at all. Hi, average and desirable. No, I didn't say it was photoshopped. I mean, uh, you, they just warped it a little way. Listen, listen, I'm not trying to be in denial about it, but I'm looking at my fucking hands right now. That's just not what they look like. You don't have to lie to make a point, you fat fuck. I'm all right. Oh, somebody repeats. Ava. But then again, she did get it from Slow Mama, and Slow Mama is all about lying to make a point. Coked out fuck. Hi, Golden Girl. Hey, finally, I missed you. <laughs> I know life is busy. Busy life. I hate it. No. Ava, welcome to very important bees. Oh, ready, sit. Rebees. I give you a rebees because you were beezer. I think. Yeah, you were. So, anyways, um, okay. The cat is hi Teddy, Heather, simply ravishing eagle. Who else did I miss? You're from the Thank Wisconsin. you, Jessica. I appreciate that and I agree. Insane. <laughs> Making meatloaf. Yum. Assalamu alaikum. Amanda, welcome salam. Hi. Say hi, Sydney. Hi, Sydney. Right, Golden Girl? I mean, come on. Hi, Shaz's life. No, it's not a new outfit. I just mixed a bunch of clothes together. Nicolita. Welcome to very part of Rush in peace. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Sydney. Okay. Um. So, ghost phase. What does that say? It was a pick of the hands. No, nothing was Photoshopped. I don't Photoshop anything. I totally agree. Lime Jello. Okay, we should have this conversation. We should have had it a long ass time ago. I also hate the fucking hellos. She's not the only one who does it. Some people do that on YouTube. I cannot stand it. And I have seen people over the years criticize me and let's say the way that I run our streams and stuff that, oh, Frenchie doesn't do those like individual hellos to people and Frenchie doesn't say hi like that and stuff. Right. Like, friend, I'm doing it on purpose, and I always have like that because I, I can't stand to watch that. It's just like a personal preference thing. It's not a diss on anyone here in the chat or anybody at all. I just find it extremely uh, slow. It brings down the pace of the stream. And like, fuck, we come here for fuck shit. Um, sorry, not little hellos. You know what I mean? I think the big hello at the beginning, it's it's uh, it's to everybody. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to start... 25 minutes of individual hellos when we uh, stream. And that's why we've never done it like that over here. To be honest, it's, it's again, not a diss to anybody. Respect you guys and, and very thankful y'all are here to watch and stuff. But no, we're not fucking doing that for 25 minutes. Alec, thank you for the super sticker, girl. You know, sometimes we talk for 25 minutes before we even get going on the reaction. And there's always schmucks in the chat being like, can we get to the react? When are you going to start the react? And we're literally talking about relevant topics before we get going. Can you imagine the shit show it would be if it was just like random highs, you know? <laughs> um, it was just like a screenshot I stole from your mama, actually. <laughs> I knew it. What did I just say? It was from Slow Mama. Oh, God. These two fucking idiots are so predictable. Zainab. Salam. Of course, Nini. Okay, here's an easy way to disprove it. G turn your effing camera on. Okay? There. Then we'll see if it's real. Listen, I don't have a camera on this thing, but I would stream from my goddamn phone one day to turn the camera on. Shut up. No one cares. I don't care. I will absolutely do that. When you come live without a chin spanks on, no makeup on, and no filters. Let's go, Heifer. I have no problem in doing it at all. I will twinkle my Twitter fingers right in front of the camera's face. I don't care. 
but we want to see you and, you know, your actual face, what you actually look like, not all your filters and your fuck shit and your chin spanks and stuff. Let's go heifer. If you're not so fucking self-loathing, you should have no problem to do that. Or not. All right. If I want to sell one of my couch, well, these couch cushions, I can't. So, but you can buy this 500 bones. Promise it's worth it. Oh, poor puppy, Haley. Ted Bestwell, thank you for the super chat. Ew. Okay. No, messy girl. I haven't seen, I don't, I don't follow. Why would I follow him? Yeah, really golden girl. Hi, Pam Anderson. How's Tommy Lee? <laughs> Good evening, David's Cafe. Do you own a cafe? My stomach does hurt, yes. Hi, Joanna. Um, Thank you, Sophie. You missed the blue couch. My lips are overlined. Anyway, I was trying to replicate the bold glamour filter. <laughs> See, so the filters aren't even enough. When she does her makeup, she's trying to replicate another filter. She has to overline her lips because she hates her own face that much. Like, okay, stay fucking insecure. You know, overlining your lips isn't going to make him love you. Right, Chantal? He's still going to cheat on you. You repulse him like you repulse everybody else. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. She went no busy even if she could eat it. Bloop. <laughs> oh, that filter completely makes you not even look like yourself. Jenna, what did I eat today? Oh, boy. Um, What did I eat? Let me go way back. Well, I did my video on the breakfast I had shared with Salah. And then I just ate a bunch of bizzers, which are, believe it or not, seeds are called beezers. You love to like the makeup tutorial to open a YouTube channel, but hubby don't want to. He's too shy. <laughs> Thanks, golden girl. Uh, yeah. I use a lip plumper and then a liner and then lip gloss. And it still wouldn't help. God, Chantal, you look at you. Look at you. Again, I would say the face only a mother could love, but not in your case. Alphagetti Western, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here. Makeup tutorial? I suck at those. Do you feel closer to your husband after everything you guys went through? Yeah, for sure. Dumb room. We learned a lot about You feel closer to your husband since finding out he's a cheater, incel freak who hates women and wants to shit on them as long as it's not you? Because he is that repulsed by you? He can't even pop a boner thinking about shitting on you? You're closer to him now? each other actually but yeah for sure i loved the camels yes i love camels hello intro um no messy not right now <laughs> why are you guys asking if i'm gassy hi fernanda you guys are obsessed with my gas okay yeah i just feel really gross hey tweety i don't know what it is i don't feel good hi lz <laughs> me yeah <laughs> no they're still out i guess it's going well Thank you, Joanna. Baby gal. Come. So there's, she has a box. She has boxes throughout the, the house, like a couple boxes. And no, that's not me individually doing hellos. <laughs> if you hear me, sometimes I'll just randomly like yell out a person in the chat. It's usually if I haven't seen them in a few days. So I haven't seen you in a few days, Tweety. So that's why I was like, hey, Tweety. Good to see you, Bish. Natasha, thank you for the super sticker. So the one she has right beside her litter, whenever she's in the litter box, she scratches the box. So that's what the noise was. Oh. When does he return from the... Um, Skim Richards. Oh, hi. Oh, I said hi to Fernanda. Yes. How's the weather over there? It's actually really nice. It's like, what was it today? 22? Sith Lord. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Sith Lord sound like? What do they look like? I don't know. But yeah, she's ugly as hell. Customers. Oh, yay. That sounds so wonderful. I mean, I always knew they were crappy people, so. Looks like I have long black hair. <laughs> Fuck, she's ugly as hell. <laughs> Misty, it's kind of embarrassing when your husband likes the poo-poos. Still doesn't change the fact that she's ugly as hell. <laughs> That's the big takeaway. Your husband's a cheater. Your husband wants to eat shit. Still doesn't change the fact that she's ugly as hell. What does it have to do with any other woman? Why do you even immediately go to another woman? It's not about another woman. It's the fact that you're married to a cheater incel. Fake married to a cheater incel. 
Why would you bring up a woman there? Okay, the woman's ugly as hell. You know what? That doesn't change. The fact that your husband is a weird fucking scat man incel who hates all women. The chicken pot pie video was iconic. It's so good. Lydia, maybe that's why I don't feel good. I ate too much pot pie this past couple days. Because she's just so beautiful and exciting. It's her good looks that keep the people coming back. Hey, eh? Del, thank you for the super chat, Gruel. I feel like, and that's like actually heavier than what, what I've been eating like the past week. So that's probably why. I, I really, really think, I know you guys are going to go, duh, like ER cheese emergency, but I think I'm like, Lactose in my belly is just not good. Or like dairy products, you know? Are you going to... No, it's probably just the quantity that you eat them. You ate like what? A whole pack of cream when you ate that fucking chicken pot pie? And whatever cheese you would eat on that day and stuff? It's not the fact that it's a little bit of dairy doing you wrong. It's that you eat all the dairy on this planet Earth and then wonder why you have a stomach ache. Uh, I agree. Kybella is hella, a hell of a lot cuter than Chantal. Yeah. Yeah. She keeps coming for Kybella's looks and Kybella's fat and Kybella's this and that. Again, it all goes back to there's degrees of fat. Normal people fat who could still get on top of your husband. Huh? <laughs> and then there's death fat who get winded starfishing when they think back to what starfishing was because Lord knows they haven't starfished since paying crackheads rent. To take your heat up off. No. Hi, Lexi. Yeah, the whole Popeye is gone now. Uh, <laughs> Blake's and they sell small frozen pot pies so yummy. Thank you, Raven. Make crustless pot pie. Actually, that would be good too. That's more like a chicken ala king, isn't it? When am I going on my next walk? I'd say tomorrow, but I'm not sure what we're doing. Hi, low fi nurse. The Florida Fair. Did you get a 12 inch corn dog? Do you think it's the wheat? Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, Lydia, it's my permanent home right now. Nothing is permanent in life, you know. She knows because her marriage is a fucking sham and she knows it. Yeah, nothing is permanent in life. For right now, it might be there, okay? But nothing is permanent. She knows, at least. I still make the African dish. I've made it twice since being here. This cough is the best. You've been vegan for four years, really? Nice. Hi, Travonda. Travonda Williams. Oh my gosh, how are you? So glad to be here. What's Salah doing? Um, he's busy. He's not busy. He has fuck all to do all day just like her. He's hiding because he's a pussy. The word you were looking for was pussy, not busy. Hi, Ariel. Yeah, corn dogs are good. I like the vegetarian corn dogs. Yeah, and another thing, it's kind of funny that she's still pushing the narrative of cam up and like show your face on camera. Where's your fake husband showing his face on camera? Why can't he show his face on camera? <laughs> it does not freeze or snow in Kuwait, no. Patricia, hi, I'm new from Montreal, Quebec, and been to Cornwall many times. My mom is there right now visiting a friend. Oh, wow. So what do you think about it? I'm ashamed, Patricia, if you're really from Montreal and you're in her chat, you're new and you go into her chat and you're from here. I think higher of this city than that. You should be a little fucking smarter, Patricia. Damn. Lorenza, thank you for the super chat. She's looking like Count Dookie. Count Dookie. I like that. Yeah, I am worried about global global warming. I ordered a 12 inch pizza yesterday. I don't know how big 20 inch it was. 20 inch? Yeah, 12 inches is a large, isn't it? Star bees. Yeah, I'm worried about global warming. I mean, as long as none of the disasters happen before I'm dead, and then I, after I'm dead, I don't really care. I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, she's not joking. Oh, that, that was the most Chantal thing Chantal's ever said. She only cares about the planet while she's on it. So I'm sure that that sounds like somebody who doesn't like recycle, who doesn't even bother bringing trash to a, a trash bin, who doesn't. Oh, no, she did not really just say that. Why am I even surprised? Of course, she fucking said that as long as the, the earth lasts for as long as her fat ass is on it. The day after she's gone, she doesn't give a shit. I don't have any kids to worry about. <laughs> 
Wow. Yeah, you could put it over rice if you wanted. Oh, yeah, true. Or mashed potatoes. Yeah. Actually, the thought of food makes me sick. What are your farting stinks? Chris, what are your smell like? Armani perfume? Have you tried the Biscoff ice cream? No, I haven't. Urging you to see a doctor. Your facial <sighs> swelling is here. I don't even have facial swelling. It's called being fat. <laughs> No, 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 no. There's more than just being fat going on. Your face is swollen more on one side than the other. And again, we're going to get into that video that she posted earlier today. Oh, it looks like all the salt in every ocean is in her face. Hella fucking swollen. Pharaoh girl. <laughs> I love that. Thank you for the super chat. I got the tacos and it was a scam. They were so small. Oh no, really? You're not blocked. Hi, Wayna. Uh, Kiwi. It's talking of wind. <laughs> we have strong winds here in the UK. Oh, no, really? Mars My Bruce, honor? thank you for the super chat. No, yeah. TH is such a dainty, tiny piece of the pie. It couldn't possibly be the, the quantity. No, no, no. And everything that was a no, no. It's the dairy. It's the wheat. You know me. I only picked at it. Practice makes perfect. Look, my eyes water. I have very sensitive eyes. Like, and it's such a pain whenever we go out. Like in the daytime, I cannot, I have to like go like this, like all the time, like, or wear sunglasses or some kind of like Salah's hat with the beak. I can't, ugh. And my eyes are always watering. That's because you never leave the house. Your eyes never have to adjust to actual like natural light because you never fucking go out into it. No, I have it for me. Mr. Mama is defending you right now. Oh, cool. What's he saying? What's he talking about? How are we? Sorry, with Drew, because I misspelled his name. That's okay. Chantal's <laughs> kicked poor apron. Thank you for the super sticker. I love Nova Scotia. I would actually consider living out there, but it's just like it's too white. You know, I don't know if it changed, but like, like Canada is very like white unless you live in Vancouver, <laughs> Toronto, where else? Montreal really Italian all of them and you're Italian a lot of so what you're saying is uh how uh, Nova Scotia is too white it is not by the way uh but you're just not used to that even though you are from a place that is ultra fucking white you're from Cornwall um what are you even talking about what are you talking about she, yeah, what a race. It is a weird, like, backwards racism. I don't know what the fuck she thinks she's saying there, but tell me you've never been to Halifax without telling me you've never been to Halifax, the capital of Nova Scotia. Definitely not all white. Like, she's just never been there before. She's speaking out of her ass. Exactly. Exactly. Imani, there's a huge black community in Nova Scotia. He, massive. That's right. She's never been there of things have flour don't they have you visited your grandfather no i never have actually i visited him when he was living in like new york uh i've been to florida with him on a trip but like he took my mom and i to florida one year but other than that you know thank you teaspoon no i'm still i feel the same i feel fine it's just kind of trapped in my nose and my throat but i'm all right thanks for asking <laughs> they would never let that you look like you get no sleep. Um, no, I just been feeling crappy, you know. <laughs> How worried are you about this? Okay, okay, it's racism. Okay, I called it backwards racism because it's like she thinks because she's white by making a point of saying something like, "Oh, some place is too white." It's like her saying that she's not a racist. You know what I mean? But yeah, that just comes off as hella fucking racist. There's a huge Lebanese community in Halifax, too. Interesting. Here's Ramadan. I'm not worried at all. Last year wasn't bad. You know, people act like you can't eat. Like, you can, just not during the day. And I don't have to go out and work and, like, outside or at a job. Like, I feel bad for the people who have to go work all day and they can't eat or drink water. That's harder, you know? But um, it's actually in March this year. I think it's, like, March 11th. I'm actually excited for it because it's, like, I love it. As a Muslim, obviously, I love Ramadan, you know? 
get fucked. She's excited for it this year, but she didn't want to say it because in March, the days are still shorter. It's going to be an easier Ramadan, let's say, and it's not her first time, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I don't believe that she participates, so it's all just wasted words. And I do love that her birthday is going to fall in Ramadan. She's going to lose her shit. We're going to get a good rage stream on that day. JCLF Janet, thank you for the super chat. Surprised how little chemistry Chantal and Salad have given that they both hate women so much. Ha! I know there's like people are like, oh, she didn't fast. You have no proof of that whatsoever. And I. Oh, but you see, that's all the proof I need. Every single time when Chantal starts, where's your proof? You have no proof. That means that we're right and that she's lying. It's always been that way. I have to give myself credit. I did fast for five days before, which is more than a lot of people have done. What happened? You lost it on your community tab. Serves them right under the. Yeah, exactly, Lexi. It's not losing it. It's just like giving them a taste of their own medicine. If I'm losing it with my one post, what is that called that they do every day? For hours raging, you know? I'm not raging for hours. We're literally discussing the garbage coming out of your mouth right now. That's all. Not the same. But you just keep on doing what you want to do. You want to rage forever on your community tab? Fucking go for it, man. You got nothing else. <laughs> So they sell bacon bits in Kuwait. They are vegan. I don't know, Paolo. Um, yeah. Can we see how we... Oh, Jenna. Oh. KK, thank you for the super chat. She lied so hard about caring that it gave birth to this super set. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, you know what's going to really piss Chantal off? Let me give you guys a little look into the future and my plans, okay? Eventually, down the road, way down the road... Um, one day I'm just going to pop on either live or like a, like a, uh, what do you call those? Uh, premiere, a video. I don't know yet, but it's going to be home renovation and no one's going to see it coming and it's going to give you the biggest whiplash of your goddamn life. And you know why I'm going to do that? Just to be an asshole. We're going to start often talking about other things. She's going to be so jealous. Not only is there a house to renovate now. <laughs> not only am I capable and knowledgeable enough to do, do said renovations on my own, uh, we won't be talking about you every day. And every single time that we talk about something else, this bitch gets so jealous, so butthurt, and so hurt that she's not getting the actual attention for a while. <laughs> I literally cannot wait to do this with you guys. Mm -hmm. How about tomorrow? I promise. Just remind me. I'm so tired. I'm sorry I'm going late so live that I'm so tired because it's almost my bedtime. But I've been watching. Um, I'm trying to use up my Prime membership before it expires <laughs> because I got it when I was in Canada, right? Because I was ordering stuff from Amazon. Oh, y'all, listen, there's nothing to congratulate. Nothing to congratulate. Yeah, this is all a hypothetical down the road. Inshallah, one day with this can happen. You know what I mean? But fuck, man, I hope it happens. You blew the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> listen if it happens in two five no i didn't i didn't get there's no house that's what i was but this is it's all the dream down the road you know what i mean inshallah this will happen one day and i can't fucking wait that's all that's all hey it's kiki thank you for the super chat which by the way my mom has been returning everything like a whole bunch of shipments came in um Thank you, Jessica. Madonna songs. <laughs> I miss, keep missing everyone so saying bad. hi. Hi, Sage. Degrassi was filmed in Cornwall. No. Let it be. Hi, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You know what song I was listening to today when I was, that came on when I was listening to my makeup? Um, I never thought that I would find a way out. I never thought I'd hear my heart beat so loud. <laughs> Remember that song? I can't believe. Oh, that's the second day in a row where songs have come up while she's doing her makeup that are from like the Koki era. Second day in a row, she's listening to this like playlist or whatever on purpose, reliving crackhead Olympics back in the day with Koki when there was actual, you know, chemistry on her end and <laughs> two days in a row. What the hell are the odds? She's listening to that, that music again. Yeah, that exactly. Tweety, those are the Koki songs. Two days in a row, two different songs. 
I want to watch Frenchie work that cock. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm such a, okay, now I get it. You want to see me work the cock. Y'all, I am so good at doing that. <laughs> there are some times, uh, it is what it is. Women are better at certain jobs when it comes to home renovating than men are. And I will die on this hill. To, uh, the attention to detail that certain jobs need, caulking is a perfect example. Tiling, another perfect example. We just do it better. It is what it is. I believe I can't believe I'm trying to leave on someone. I sink my teeth into. Nobody is as good with a cock as a woman, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> no, Applebee's, what? Hi, Michelle. Yeah, right. Thank you, Coco. <laughs> Demetra doesn't think so. Oh. Last last night I dreamt of San Pedro. <laughs> right, saying that I couldn't breathe. That's all I remember. I remember being really out of it and just like <laughs> this should be my new ringtone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God. Damn. Oops, that's bad. That's why did she say that? Sorry, it's Annie with an L, not Annie with a P. Thank you for the super chat. Um, Africa Ville Chantal signed a Newfoundlander. Exactly. That right over her head. She has never, ever been talking out of her ass, regurgitating God only knows whose uh, opinion. You know what I mean? She has no fucking idea. But she will give an opinion about it for real and then call everyone else around her dumb and uh, uh, uncultured. That was it. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Rachel. <laughs> oh, fuck. That, yeah. She really is like, yeah. A, she's trying to culture vulture a little bit. For sure. And failing hysterically at it. Chantal's kicked pork apron. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Do you think Chantal would ever pull an Ariana Grande transracial ham beast? If that happens, I'm detaching from the undercut. What did Ariana Grande do? I don't understand the reference, but sure. If Ariana Grande did it, she would probably do it too. I have no idea what you're talking about though. Sorry. You got me in love again. <laughs> what happened to him? Yeah, did he get beat up? Oh, race Last changes. Night, I dreamt of yes, San Pedro. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Stanley. Where you been, Stanley? What the heck? Look at my eyes are watery. Diego! Thank you, Miss Ray. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> a potato with a black wrap. Just woke up from the best dream, was consuming, I oh, was cruising on my husband's Harley, and I feel like the coolest person. I dream about food every night. Def oh, snip that. I dream about food every night. That is sick. Holy shit, it is like the only thing constantly on her mind. It's on her subconscious mind, too. Can you imagine thinking about food all day? And then dreaming about food all night. I was going to say, even my dog, when he dreams at night, he's running. He's not air chewing. And that's a dog. Um, tell that to a therapist. That should be noted down and told to a professional. That's fucking sick. Lynn's, shut the fuck up. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Me, you're so happy. I am happy. I don't know why. <laughs> you don't need a reason. Life is good. God is great. You know, that's all the reason. I have you guys. Just like a na, 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 young girl with eyes like the desert. <laughs> like lingerie. Oh, yeah. You've been grieving. I understand that. Yeah. Did she just force out a fart or did she shit on the new couch? Don't be forcing yourself to fart on that new couch. Why do you have to ruin everything? God damn. I think I always say I'm, I'm like hard on my clothes and stuff, but she's hard on everything. Forcing it out. That's disgusting, man. This is supposed to be your new old couch. Let it live. Fuck. Mars Bruce. Thank you for the super chat. Reminiscent of the green peen because uh, despite as bad as he was, he didn't have to play in his poo poo. Uh -huh. You're right. He was much better in my opinion at like faking um chemistry with her and you know he actually hit it so there's that Blech. the sing a rooster by alan 
I don't know that song. Oh, he, I know Man in the Box, I think. Wait. I'm the man in the box. <laughs> Food dreams are the best dreams. Oh, wow, toilet. No, they're not real. So let's sing Starboy and Sarah Jane's, please. Okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Is she high? What is this? What she is she on something? Is this just natural? I don't know. This is not funny. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> like what you've done. <laughs> I can't. Oh. I can't say the the bad words. I'm trying to put you in my worst mood, huh? <laughs> oh my God. Chantal's flaccid foreskin clothing line. Thank you for the super chat and the offer. I would fucking love to. Ah. Don't hold back. Come on, tell him. His reaction was to the <laughs> No, I had to return. Lexi, I had to return everything that I ordered because it didn't come on time. So, <laughs> Michelle, you're eating sushi? Oh, cool. Come here, you. Or else you're going to get it later with a big hug and kiss. Um, Bunch of stuff from Pennington's. I'm so mad. I ordered a water bottle, a collapsible. Why did I, I'm glad I returned that. Why did I need that? Yes, lingerie, pajamas, like 20 pairs of undergarments, two bras, really nice pants. And uh, every big sweater I bought is at my mom's. I can't bring them here. What am I going to bring them here for? Tony Gonzalez, how are we enjoying a foodie beauty creative feast? <laughs> What's been happening? I don't. But what ended up happening with the order? I'm confused. She canceled the whole thing. They sent the whole thing back. That had been the plan, she had said. Well, I, I don't understand why they didn't just mail her her box, like her mom or something. Fucking weird. Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat. This is Koki Appy. Ooh. No, no, not quite that far. But I don't know. I don't, something, something off. Anyway. All her Christmas presents she bought herself. Love it. Absolutely. Yeah. That's definitely a Chantal thing to do, right? Wait a minute. Ariana Grande's tan has extended into a different racial category. That's what that means? Ah, oh, I see. Yikes. Next trip to Thailand, maybe? You know what? Thailand is recriminalizing weed. Wah, wah. Somebody tells me Thailand's going to be off the table for just that reason. Del, thank you for the super chat. She's been huffing the carburetor cleaner. Oh my God, maybe you're right. So It's the only thing that makes sense so far. Del, that's what it is. I think it's worth it to mail it here. I don't even know. We don't get mail here, so I don't know what would happen. My filters. I know. That was on purpose. That was the uh, bold glamour filter. So I was what do you mean you don't know what would happen? And you don't get mail there? What the fuck are you talking about? They can't mail you a box from Canada to where you are. You, you're so stupid. That is so dumb. Even if they couldn't mail it directly to your building, there's nowhere like you can go and pick it up like a DHL location or like, I don't know, DHL just came to my mind, but any fucking courier location, you can't work this out. That is so fucking yeah, ignorant, stupid. My God, I, I think maybe no, just nobody in her family offered to send her the box. <laughs> Trying to recreate. I think it, what I have to do is have a higher brow bone, a skinnier nose, higher cheeks, and bigger lips. Lingerie is not halal. Whatever. Yes, it is if it's a halal relationship. I sink my teeth in disbelief because you're the one that I want. Isabella, thank face. you for the super chat. Gorlock the Destroyer with the filter. <laughs> Who's that? What? He's always almost dying. What happened, Stanley? Hi, Mike. Hey, she just attacked me. Come, 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 come. She's bored and she wants to play. I know that's a foreign concept to you because we never, ever, ever saw you play with any of your pets. 
ever. All you know how to do is stick your hand into the bag of temptations and give them a handful of it, right? The cat came and attacked you. The cat wants to play. And you're boring ass streaming. Go and play with the cat, your pet that you apparently love so much. Alec, thank you for the super chat. I don't think so. She's not that happy. Hi, Mike. No mail sounds like a dream. I sound beautiful. Thank you. Who do you favor your father? Who do you favor your father? My mom, obviously. No offense, Dad. <laughs> Duh. Thank you. No offense, Dad. Her dad, if he would ever see this, which let's be real, would be like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Nancy, thank you for the super chat. She's high on the carburetor cleaner. She used to clean the oven. I mean, it seems legit. Their names are not on the lease. Oh, that's interesting. And why they don't get mail makes a little more sense. Lorenza, thank you for the super chat. She's all the only person that dreams about Nash. She's insane. Can you imagine? Every waking hour and then you go to bed and you're dreaming of the same shit that you thought about all day. Wow. Talk about having so little in your mind, in your life. I have a good range. Allie C. And I have to look this up. I did hello dirty, dirty ones and got knocked up. What? That's Jimmy. So. Like, <laughs> on the dark door. Pull up. Thank you for the super chat. You're right. Maybe, yeah, come strum on the table. Oh, sham. <sighs> Everyone dipped, LZ. Cool wind in my hijab. <laughs> the blue pots. Do you know how many months I had that? Blue pot festering? Probably about a half a year. Backstreet Boys or NSYNC both can suck on an egg. Seychelles? Seychelles? Oh, that's in Africa. Address your mayonnaise. I saw someone comment. Didn't you just buy mayonnaise? I listen, I'm gonna blame my husband for this. I don't care what he says if he's embarrassed because when we were at the I don't care if it embarrasses him. Let's let's just be honest. Uh the stories we've heard about your husband over the last two weeks, no, his mayo consumption isn't going to be the thing that embarrasses him. Unless he also likes to like squirt mayo on people before or after he shits on them. Then maybe, okay? I suppose we need context. <laughs> Lazy, thank you for the super chat. I think our next visa run will be very telling about their relationship. I think she pays for everything in hopes he'll grow to love her. Yeah, I agree with that the grocery store he's like oh the mayonnaise is on sale i'm like we just bought mayonnaise <laughs> i'm like no we have mayonnaise <laughs> he's like babe it's a really good deal it's never gonna get low like that again so we got the mayonnaise now we have mayonnaise forever age of aquarius warm smell of geezer spray rising up in the air up ahead in the distance I saw a camel regurgitating. <laughs> Come here, you. Hold on, I gotta readjust myself. What are you doing? She's got zoomies. Ugh, sorry. She wants to play. All right, listen, y'all know how I feel about cats, but it's it's a living, breathing animal. You know what I mean? I, and she's young. Any young pet, let's say, they gotta play. Of course they get the zoomies. I love when the dog gets the zoomies. Oh my God, because I lean into Zoomies. Zoomies make me get all crazy too. You know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, it's fuck shit time. Let's go. You know what I mean? I love that shit. She's like, oh no, it's inconvenient to me when the cat, the young cat gets Zoomies. Like, let her fucking live, man. Go and play with your freaking pet. It's so rude. I can't understand. Beyond the whole animal abuse and da da da. But the selfish nature of getting a pet when you have zero interest in it. Beyond like, when I'm lonely, they're there with me. That's so selfish. Fucking, yes, fuck shit time. That's the Zoomies for me. I love it. I, I get them all like extra worked up when Zoomies happen. I love the Zoomies, you know what I mean? But I am someone who, I probably do the opposite of Chantal, where I overstimulate every pet that I've ever had. There is not a boring moment in my life with them, you know what I mean? Um it's, it's a personality thing, I suppose, too. You know, uh, they, I want to get my dog a dog because I'm so bored. I'm so bored. I'm so worried. He's got like some boring downtime. Got to fill that up with like a companion. You know what I mean? Like 
it's it's a personality thing, number one. But also, some people want to fill the life of their pet as much as possible. And some people literally have them there as some kind of ornament only to pull off a shelf when they want the comfort. Can't relate at all. I'll be right back. You got me. <laughs> it will never be that cheap again. <laughs> yes, it does. Hi, Nadia. Oh. <laughs> Putting mayo on your mayo. I do need glasses. I know. I keep forgetting. Hi, Sigmund. Hi, Lazy. Happy Dove. Thank you for subscribing. That means a lot. Thank you. Okay, that's fair. Adding with an Elma, adding with a P. Thank you for the info and the super chat. She may be right about the mail. My bestie lives in Dubai and she tells me not to send her stuff because the mail doesn't work. Our customs Fs you over and robs you. Okay, good to know. Wow, I'm out of breath. A freezer for the city. We shop like someone waiting for a disaster. Yes, because he eats a lot of pita bread every morning. Hi, Rose. Hi. Thanks, Lexi. Yeah, we're doing okay. <laughs> you shouldn't have to explain why you stock up. Yeah, it's, you know, mayo is like a diamond and gooey. They don't have nashies. No, I don't put mayo in my hair. I don't know. I think I would find it too gross. She needs the mayo to put her abaya on. <laughs> abaya on. <laughs> Light mayo is the one I like. Yeah, I have some. I have about five jars of mayo right now. <laughs> one of every brand. <laughs> Look what you've done. The whole French you get a corgi. That's really cute. And they're very sweet. But I don't know. I don't want to be preachy, but I don't get like certain breed of dog. You know what I mean? I just, I rescue whatever little shit needs a home at the time that I'm ready for the rescue, you know? It is kind of what it is. It, and I'm a, my own personal crazy preference that if I have like an option, I don't know, you go to rescue a, and they're like, oh, here are three options of dogs that need a rescue. And one of them happened to be a Jack Russell, even part like like a, a mixed with a Jack Russell in there at all in the spirit of Ollie. Oh, motherfucker. I'm going for that Jack Russell. Non-bread, yeah. 50 peppers. <laughs> Bake a mayo chocolate cake. Really, Applebee's? Mayo's good for your skin. None, none of these. Clothing oh, haul. Yeah. EM, thank you for the super chat, girl. Lexi. Oh, uh, Japanese mayo? I think so. Cucumber haul. I was Absolutely. I will get preachy for a minute. Adopt, don't shop. It is what it is. You know why? Some people in life, the world is all about balance. So some people need to adopt and not shop because there are some assholes like Chantal in this world who just want their kitten to have fucking kittens. Like there aren't already overpopulation problems between dog, cats. Like So it's the balance that the world needs to overcompensate for schmucks like Chantal. Is the beatus? It's beatusing. I have Sarah Jane singing Live in La Vida Loca. <laughs> her lamps are devil red and her skin's the color mocha. Can you make cucumber boats like Amberlynn? That would be a no. Hi, Ashley. Make stuffed peppers. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Absolutely. Chantal's flaccid foreskin clothing line. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for simulating their lives. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Remember, our gift for Christmas for BBJ is uh, that toy that flaps the fuck around. She loves it and she's an old bitty. Can you imagine like a young cat like Julia if given toys like that? She would lose her shit on that all day. That would be like so much fun for her, you know? My dog has a ball. You plug it into the wall to charge it, all right? Then you turn it on and it just starts bouncing on its own. If he gives it like even a tap or goes near it, it just starts bouncing. He loses his mind with that ball. I don't even have to be involved. You know what I mean? And it's given them something to do on their own. You just get to sit back and giggle at it and it's enriching their life. Like shit, man, little things you can do. 
give them, they have nothing. They have nothing. They stay in the house all day. If you don't give them something to have fun with in life, what the fuck do they have? Nothing. I still have quite a few. Hi, Mimi Pondu. Use the mayo to remove gum from your hair. They did it in The Simpsons. <laughs> you were sweaty after cooking. I know. Age six location. Oh my gosh, that brings me back. Hi, Lizette. Creme brulee tea. Oh my gosh, that sounds good. Live in La Vida, Beezer. Age sex location was so much easier. Now you have too many choices. It is almost 1 p.m. Becky Williams is moving in with Pete's. What? Honk. Honk. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> What's Becky up to these days? What's her channel called again? Sometimes Beck, sometimes Williams. My husband, he's around. <laughs> Do you like the cosmic brownies? What are those? Oh, okay. More info on the ball. I found it on Amazon. I forget what the hell it was called. I could find it. Like I can go back in my orders and I can show you like what it was exactly tomorrow. But there, there's a few of them on Amazon. It's just like um, USB chargeable ball. It's like rubbery, but it is quite hard, but it's got like kind of a rubberiness on the outside of it. And yeah, it just, it, it's got like three modes. One, it's like, it'll just like do its own thing. One has to be nudged and then it starts fucking bouncing around. And one, I think it just like rolls back and forth on the floor. It's really cool. Savory pies in Kuwait. It was about uh, 35 um, bucks Canadian. You mean like fatire? <clears throat> we used to eat that like every morning almost. We would get hummus, falafel. I'm sorry for another quick pause just to add. And when I first took it out of the package, I was like, oh my God, this is going to be broken in 10 minutes. Uh, it's been a few months now and that thing is still kicking. So much more solidly made than I thought, you know what I mean? And he's much more into the bouncingness of it and what it does on its own than like just straight up chewing that fucking ball. You know what I mean? Probable Hobbit. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, fat tire. My favorite fatire is the full halloumi. It has like halloumi, olives, tomatoes, mutabal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't eat a proper lunch. I had a bunch of snacks. Not good. Oh, it's okay, Jimmy. Are we still binge free? Kinda. Kinda. Double, um, do you ever miss the villa? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, of course I miss some things. Obviously, I miss my cat so bad, you know. So, like I said, that's like a grief that I'm dealing with pretty much every other day. I dream about them. Like, I find my cat somewhere and I'm like, oh, my God, there they are. And I have to try to, like, try to get them and keep them with me. Like, like nobody's ever going to take them from me again. I'm never going to, you know, like that kind of thing. Well, that's just made up. I'm sorry. I did not believe that she dreams about her ex-cats. So I don't. Uh, she was just talking about what she dreams about not 10 minutes ago. And she said food. It was the first thing that came to her mind and the only answer she gave. Now, oh, here we go. I'm talking about the fucking cats. Now we have to dream about the cats. You just made that up. Stop lying. Chantal's kicked cork apron. Thank you for the super chat. Yes. <clears throat> so it's like been hard to come to terms with that. And uh, I miss some of the items from my, from my place, like my chair. Yeah, and again... The way she just word, worded that nobody took them. Nobody took them from anybody. You decided to dump them to run off to the other side of the world and fake marry an incel who hates women. Oh, my mini fridge. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't miss the stairs. Having a lupus flare. Oh, well, just relax, clever nickname. If you don't feel good, you don't feel good. With a fat tire. <laughs> Rachel, thank you for the super chat, girl. There's a bunch of them for real on Amazon. Like, I don't remember the exact name. That's deep, I know. What proof of life of the cat that Montreal matzo ball? Montreal matzo ball is hiding. Yeah. Nobody gives a crap about the cat. I know it's hard. Maybe you just sell it to live in Canada and get Sam at least. No, I couldn't do that because, like like I said, like I, I told the person, the person who's fostering him, asked if she could keep him because she's grown really close to him and... Like they've grown, grown really close. And I said, yes. So. 
There was never any fostering. This whole story is so stupid. And yeah, I mean, it, it's a choice to call me a matzo ball. I'll, I'll take it though. I don't, I don't like, I'm not offended. Put it that way. Okay. But noted, noted <laughs> fucking your corn. A, she's not a corn stock, but implies thin and tall. I don't know another reference to your fucking crackhead. You fucking goof. Okay. Uh, of course she's lying. Of course she's like, there was never any foster situation with the cat. She gave Sam away like she gave BBJ away. It's just that simple. She's bullshitting. No, I can, I can see my chat, but I don't wear content. <clears throat> she put it live. She would stream with her and prove it. No, because she lied. Remember, Applebee's and said that the cat wasn't with her. So she that's why she probably doesn't because she's a liar and she doesn't want you know people to find out. Have you ever slept over at Salah's family homes? No. Sam was six or yeah, six. <laughs> Howie, I just showed him in my video, Stanley. He's alive. He had a breakfast burrito today. I take a little piece of pita. It's on my video at the end. I put a little bit of scrambled egg and I roll it and I give it to him. Foster turned owner. Yeah. Because no, I would not do Botox. As of right now, no. Yeah, bottom 90% of YouTube. Thank you for the super chat. She always is going to try and rewrite history, no matter what story of history we're talking about. Because in every story, she's the asshole. So she thinks, let a little time pass. I can rewrite the history where I'm the victim. Because I love being the victim. I refuse to admit that I'm the asshole. Uh, Kathleen, matzo ball implies you're delicious and sought out for comfort. I like that. I will take that wouldn't just just be happy with the face you have i guess you know <laughs> one day she says the cat is with her brother-in-law then she says the cat is yeah i know big breast no i never said the cat was with my brother-in-law i don't have a brother-in-law you're full of shit you're sinate thank you again for super chat girl i appreciate it bro if you miss your cat so much why because she can't you can't take back Z's what she gave away Z's. <laughs> She's 40. Brenda. Hi, do you still love the new bed? I, it's too comfy. I don't want to leave it. No name. Hi, beautiful lady. We talked about my cat, Texie, the other day, stopping by to say hello. Hi, thank you so much for the gift. That's so kind of you. And for stopping by. Yes, and scratch Texie behind the ears for me. <laughs> I love that name. It's so cute. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Sam is so cute and Julia is beautiful. Yeah, um... I hope you let her have one litter. I don't know. I'm torn. I want to have more cats. That's no. What fucking idiot in her chat? I hope you let her have a litter. Morons. Fucking idiots. They have all found each other in this world because they're all as dumb as she is. Full of shit. I want to have more cats. Fuck off, Chantal. There's so many cats and you don't get any more because you're also an animal abuser who has no business having any more pets. Okay. But even if you insisted on getting another pet, you don't create it yourself. So you create a whole litter because you want a kitten. Fuck off. Anton and uh, Sinan, thank you for the super chat. We have two rescues from Dubai shipped when we moved uh, from there. And the third one we got in France. You never leave your cats behind. She's full of shit. Agreed. I could never. I can't even fathom the idea of leaving dogs behind like I'm a dog person. You know what I mean? No fucking way. You work your plans around how you're going to get them there with you. How You know what I mean? Or how they're going to be cared for uh, until you can figure out how to get them there with you, you know? You know, that's the thing. I'm like a little, I, I want, she's so cute. And we know somebody who has a Scottish fold, like another gray Scottish fold, um, a male that's not fixed. So, that's, you know, I'm like, I'm really like, Ugh. I don't know. Oh, she makes me sick, actually sick. So they know another schmuck who isn't properly taking care of their pet and hasn't neutered their cat. So yeah, let's get all these asshole pet owners together and create kittens. Eat. She's too cute. <laughs> ah. Julie, thank you for the super chat, girl. Korean rice cakes. Yes, like the, yeah, I have. Hi, Twice the Horse. Raining cats and dogs. Ooh, enjoy, golden girl. Put extra ice. 
I can see your ponytail through your sweaty abaya. I did dye my I dyed my hair today. See? Hair dyed on my hand. I can't get it out. It's the seven ghost faces and scream. Is that only one ghost face of the scientist expert? You're like the you're like the scream expert, ghost face. Who fought jail immediately? So dry. guys has been pimped out to 14. Were they 14? I keep hearing they're like 14, 15, 16. They were I don't know why I find that funny. Uh, Jessica, thank you for the super chat girl. <laughs> we're gonna see you on like one of those. We're gonna see you on one of those like investigative discovery channels one day. <laughs> oh, that's funny. People yesterday too, they were like, is that hair dye on her in her hall? Like, why would she need hair dye? To to dye the little like puffs of hair, the little like baby bird little puffs, you know, she dyes. And then probably slits up the rest of it. I can't even imagine what that looks like now. Oh. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. She says, just be happy with the face you have. Then turn off your filter. Shut off. Exactly. Good, thank you. I'm going to be in Cape Town in February. I can't wait. Yes. Are you excited? That's where you're from, right, Italian? <laughs> oh, my God, Applebee's. Lana Del Beezer, sing for us. You want me to sing Lana Del Rey? Why does my voice sound like this? <laughs> no singing. Ice cream. S and M. <laughs> I used to love that song when I used to go out. Oh my gosh. Hello, <laughs> Perka. <laughs> it's a lot of handyman. Yes, that's why I have carburetor fluid in my kitchen. He does everything himself. Okay, but what was he doing with the carburetor fluid in the kitchen? Fill in the blanks there, because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> for real. Tell us what he was doing. It's not trying to poison you. Chantal's flaccid foreskin clothing line. Thank you for the super chat. What if she told the person that took Sam that she was coming back, but then she didn't? That person kept Sam. Hmm. I don't think so. I think she just straight up gave him away. I guess it's possible. Would you consider adopting a 27-year-old Asian man? Like on Pretty in Pink? Or what movie was that? Oh um, my God, Kathy! Thank you for the super chat. You think that's what she's doing? She wants to sell the kittens? Oh fuck! I'm 38 and also can't have kids. What a horrible thing for someone to put down another person. Yeah, I know. That's what's her face. You're fat and bald and barren. Stand up person you are, and I'm. They say that I'm horrible. I know, Willow. Yes, I said it. It's, it's the truth. You take low blows, you get them right back. If you don't like the low blows, don't be giving them. Again, I don't know why these little pussies poke the bear and then cry victim when they get it right back. Hmm? You take shots at my mom, I'm going to call you Baron if I want to. There was also a while back uh, where you insisted I don't have a period because you don't have a period because you're a psychopath. So you're projecting that. You get mad if I have a commentary about it. You also want to take low blows. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with your brain, bitch. But if you have a problem with it, don't go to certain places. And maybe people won't go to those dirty places with you also. Of course, nothing else to do. How many views did she get on her blog? Does Salah still sell the beezer sprays? Yeah, I think so. Long duck dong. Yeah. For your birthday, you should do a stream where you come online and reflect on all the regrets and address it all. No, because as an, a Muslim, I don't have to, um, it's actually, it's looked down upon to reveal all your sins to the general public. Like, I and Well, doesn't it work out in your case for the general public that you've sinned all these sins, or most of them anyway, on a live stream over the past few years on this channel? So we've seen it all already. <laughs> Alec, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, she wants to travel, so she wants to add more cats smart always thinking i'm dealing with those things in my life with a law not anybody else you know what i mean what no applebee's hi crafty gypsy sell air that's really all they're predicting that kai stares at her screen all day insulting us instead of spending time with their children does she have kids i didn't even know that yeah i need the energy drink drink right now 16 candles. 
Hi, Colleen. You never do anything that we ask you to while live. You don't move. I know. While I'm live, I know. I don't like to. I just like to sit and talk. Hi, Roach Queen. My favorite musician? I don't know. You're right. Some of these new beezers don't know the truth about these things. Fair. She has gained a few new subs lately. Fair to assume some people in the community don't really know the history of who she really is. But again, that's why she gets so mad at the reaction channels for saying the things that we do and bringing up past stories and correcting her attempts at rewriting history and stuff. Because while she tries to convince these new people, let's say that she's not scum, we easily just, you know, bring up videos from the archive that show what scum she actually was. So no, she's not actually mad about, there's no bullying. There's no fat shaming. There's none of the bullshit that she's constantly harping about. And she knows it. She's mad that we use her past words to show everybody who she truly is. It, it's just that simple. Sarah Sue, thank you for the super chat. That is wild, Apple Bees or Apple Bees. Molly Ringwald, 80s inspo. Do they have Boston creams? I'm not sure. Who's your favorite musician? You want to get the Beezer spray? <laughs> it's really, oh, my freaking sciatica. I'm taking an NSAID. I'm taking something called like cataflam for it. Oh. Uh-huh, the back again. We were just running the other day. We said nothing about our back, but now the back hurts again. Convenient. Bottom 90% of YouTube says, hey, I was blinded before too. I used to hate FFG, then I saw the light. Fair. I'm a big personality with a real big fucking mouth. I think it's fair to default. If you come in, let's say, listening to Chantal or certain other hater ass bitches in this community, fair to hate me off the bat. You know what I mean? It seems like, oh my God, she's so mean. But no, when you see the person the true person that we're speaking about, there's nothing mean about it. It's just realistic. Is it a little blunt, a little harsh, maybe? But that's a personality thing, Macaulay's. Rachel, thank you for the super chat. Cat sex is very violent. She's horrible. Damn. She's so fucking selfish. Oh. Pain it pills. It helps, but right now, no. Oh. <laughs> Pain pills. Interesting. Tita, I think you're onto something here. Thanks for casting, I've heard for some of them. Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella. Uh. Twice I have been doing good with the walks, but today I didn't go. That's right. Basement baby, thank you for the super chat. She is evil to the core. The fact that you try to stack the cards against a cat you've owned all those years for that end of life consultation is one of the sickest things I've ever heard of in my life. And the fact that less than a year later, you think you're entitled to some kind of proof of life or some sick shit. Why? You tried to mark a cat 11 months ago. Stop trying to play like you give a damn. You're sick and you're disgusted. And, uh, I don't know. It's just animal abuser will always be an animal abuser. So stop pretending to give a damn. Uh, go and spay your fucking cat. You don't need to have kittens. Uh, grow the fuck up. Be responsible. You don't want to be responsible. Don't have any more pets. Mm. Oh. Piriformis mu muscle. Okay, Don. I think the black garlic caught him at the end. <laughs> yeah, Valium FM. Totally agree. What they did to Timbit at the end was disgusting. The way Timbit lived out the, the end of her life is so fucking tragic. That's another case of animal abuse. He does. But it's not something that's massageable, I don't think, is it? It's like in the vein. Get a butt pillow to sit on. Whatever, Stanley, I don't care. <laughs> like, really, Thrillho? Shook after dark. Ugh, I can't stand him. He's a whiny little bee. A petty little bee. 
Did you see Zachary Michael complaining, talking about acting like a weird, I don't know. I saw a clip of him like talking about Amber Lynn liking beef patties with Vidalia onions. Like these people's content is dog crap. They have nothing. As opposed to you who's right now laying out like a walrus on a couch doing fuck all. You're right. This is the real quality content that goes around in this community. Honk, thank you for the super chat. And thank you for pointing that out. I'm sure she would love to know it. <laughs> She's so psyched. Wait, did she say the sciatic nerve is in the vein? Yeah, it's like deep in the vein. <laughs> and there's no way uh, massage would help that at all. You know that like deep ass tissue, literally deep in your ass tissue massage when you have a sciatic can feel so goddamn good. But first of all, I don't know if anybody's fingers are strong enough to do that to her. And I certainly don't think her fake husband is massaging her ass cheeks. Just saying. Poor life choices simulator. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, if she tries to make bank with the kittens, no doubt she will lie and claim Julia's purebred. Absolutely she would. Nothing. And what are you talking about Amber Lynn for? You have camel toe. Oh, I hate them all. I'm kidding. I don't hate anybody. But that's okay, bitch. We hate you too. It's very mutual. Don't be fucking Pollyanna about it. That's just because I don't want to go to hell. Oh, oh. too little, too late. I'll see you there. My sciatica. <sighs> he's very neutral. He's, oh, please. He's rude. Uh, you can't say otherwise. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't watch him, but. Damn, Delulu, thank you for the super chat, girl. Karma. For always talking about overweight people, this is what's going to happen to you. <laughs> you dislike them very strongly. <laughs> yeah. What's a lot of salt? Do you have any travel plans? Yes, Lazy, but it's a surprise for you guys. <sighs> Lexi, how can you stand your mom, especially after? I didn't say I like the guy. And it's not, like, people are allowed to have an opinion on what happened, you know, it's, it's not like, I can't fault somebody for having an opinion on what happened. You know, like, he has an opinion on it, um, but he doesn't go on and on about it, you know? So. I was going to say, she faults all the reaction channels about having an opinion on all the things she does constantly. Constantly. Now it's convenient. No, I don't fault him for having an opinion on it. You're full of shit, Chantal. Keep that same energy. You're so inconsistent, so full of shit. You just hate women so much. It is what it is. Mars Bruce, thank you for the super chat. And I still like his opinions on other other things, like the other reactors. <laughs> I love you and all, but please, if you want to lose more weight, I think you should see a dietitian. That's okay, Jimmy. Thanks for your opinion. Don't go to Iran. Iran? It's getting eat. Yeah, it's getting dangerous, eh? Well, oh, yeah. Isn't there something going on with Iran and Pakistan right now? <laughs> Aaron Roche, yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, she was talking about Alex is shook? Am I understanding this right? Rude. Alex is like the only reaction channel that I watch. It's been a long time. You guys know. <laughs> when I plan to travel, soon-ish. Not like too, too soon, Lazy. Like in the next few months, maybe. Of course, in the next few months. The next visa run, April 10th. We know. In the next few months, we know. And it'll just be, again, what's got a convenient timing, right? Such a coincidence that she'll be on another vacation. Mm -hmm. The R-Man, thank you for the super chat. That's right. When she rages that, I gave up my kids for you. I have to spend a lot of time with my cat here first. Baby guy. Why are you cute? W, death fat, bed bound. Then oh, look and sound and have her life look like her and sound like her and have her life any day, any day. <laughs> Stand mad, yeah, really. They project their self hate onto you. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's textbook. She should do a public way in, yeah, unless you cam up. I don't want to hear shit from you. That's it. I can't take anything these people say to heart for that reason. But you take it so deeply to heart that you won't shut the fuck up about it. And you know what? You don't have to take anything from me. If you don't like it, 
Don't watch. You've been saying that for years. Why the fuck do you listen to every goddamn word that I say if you hate it so much? You're so sick. You're so self-loathing. You're such a masochist. Just piss off. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. They don't show themselves. How are you going to do a spy it when you don't even weigh in? How? And people are like, oh, you're doing so well. You ate a pineapple for dinner. <laughs> like they're dumb. Oh my God, the pineapple for dinner wasn't a flex. Nobody would say you're doing so well. You ate all that sugar for dinner. She, you see, it's what I said at the beginning of the stream. She's psychotic. She thinks that was some kind of a healthy flex. That was like, oh dear Christ, I just ate so much sugar. She does not understand at all. Oh my God, you're so dumb, Chantal. Get your head out of your ass. She is, she's obsessed. <laughs> Fuck that. Del, thank you for the super chat, girl. I hate dumb people. No, I'm not afraid of dying at all. Nope. I used to be just because I'm afraid to not exist. Like the, the, the idea of losing consciousness freaks me out. That's it. But now that I have faith in something, because to me, life is just too complex to not have any deeper meaning. Like it can't just be you're dead and that's it. Like I don't accept that, you know? So I do accept though that like all of these people are going to go to hell and I love that. So anyways. Wow. What a peaceful um, Muslim thing of you to say, all oh, these people are going to hell. Bitch, you're going to hell. You're going to sit in the hottest seat in hell. You're going to be sweating your fupa balls off in hell. Understand, okay? Yeah, where's your incel? Where's your shitting freak of a husband who hates women? Worry about yourself and the fuck shit going on in that piece of shit fart box apartment, okay? Don't be worried so hard about reaction channels. You're the one laying in your own shit right now. For real, for real. KK, thank you for the super chat. You might be laughing now in this dunya, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm thin, but I'm an asshole. Slice doesn't mean anything. <laughs> oh, hi, Melissa and Andrew. That's so cool. I like entertaining people. Teardrop, hi. Uh, human jerky. Hi, I really like that. Thank you for the super chat. That's really sweet. How are you? Uh, there was no fear then, court chowder. Like before you were born? I don't see it as that because I don't know. See, that's interesting. It's it's weird. I've taken a lot of mushrooms in my life. That's a crazy take. <laughs> Stop coming for all of my things. When has she, oh, uh, come on. I've taken a lot of mushrooms. That's exactly even how I say it. The fuck is wrong with this woman? You haven't done a lot of anything in your life. You drank a lot of cheap beer, uh, hiding behind random objects and buildings in Cornwall when you were young. It's not deeper than that. When you were invited, shut the fuck up, Chantal. Come up with your own goddamn youth and stuff. You're so weird. Ask, thank you for the super chat. Faith and I'm scared of dying. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I don't want to die, but. Yeah. And that's a good point. If you had actually taken a lot of mushrooms, you certainly wouldn't have paid Koki $300 for a gram of one. Okay. I'm just saying fucking idiot poser. In the end, all that matters is how we behave as individuals. Exactly. That's why I delete my posts. I'm not deleting these ones. Maybe, maybe in the future I will. And I don't, I try not to talk about other people, no matter what they say about me. You know, but it's hard sometimes. Like, I'm human and... I didn't even say shit this morning. You came out unprovoked, made that fucking rant on your community tab. Why? Because you're probably mad at your fucking incel fake husband and you needed someone to take it out on. Just admit it. It's not about like, oh, they talk about me, so I talk about them. You need an outlet for your anger. Uh, you're doing everything you can to try and make this fucking loser actually like you. You certainly can't you know, let out your emotions to him where they belong. So you've decided to take them out on me. That's abusive. You're abusive. Basement baby, thank you for the super chat. I'm impulsive and sometimes like, mm, I can't hold my tongue, but I don't, I regret it because it's a reflection of me. It's always a reflection of you. Always. Like how you reply to people. It always is how you react to problems in life. It's always a reflection of your own character. And it's true. At the end of the day, we're all going to be 
worm food. Like we're all going to be the same in a grave. You don't take any of that shit with you unless you're an Egyptian king. Then you take all your gold with you. But no, I mean, in the afterlife, you don't, nothing, nothing in this world matters. It's just a stage, like, you know, a stage of a phase of creation. And it's like, I don't know. Your character is so much more important than. Well said. And your character is as rotten as every other part of you. You're a horrible person. You're horrible to people. You're horrible to animals. You're horrible to cats specifically. Such a sacred animal in Islam. What the fuck do you think is going to happen to you when you meet your maker, asshole? Chantal's kick pork apron. Thank you again for the super chat. Items that you have. You know what I mean? So that that for sure is true. Happy birthday, Tally. Hi, Tracy. Hi. I caught a live. Yeah. Angela, I get concerned about you. That's why I worry something bad could happen to you. Thank you, Angela. That's no, that's nice of you to worry about me. <laughs> Ted Best, while it's not hair dye, it's poop. I can go with that. Thank you for the super chat. Happy birthday, Tally. I turned 16 and mortality sounds like much. Happy birthday to you. Melly, hi. Um, and one really? hour into the stream and still highs. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I better go. urethra i think i'll never forget you well, that's cool thanks you might if you ever get dementia when you grow up oh yeah lorraine the, the marks are visible on her it's bad <laughs> i look stoned i do i don't know why i'm tired overtired it should be celebrated it didn't even mute stop it stanley the day would scare you <laughs> teardrop Don't you dare hold back. I have to. I'm modest. You know. I'm thirsty also. Where's my water? I better go, guys. I'm not going to talk about these, the negative people anymore. Just, <laughs> just bees. What, Stanley? So we're going to keep talking about the negative people every day until the end of the month to end the month strong. Got just it. Just bees. Let us love you, Julia. Bye, Tracy. Bye, everybody. Thanks for beezing. It means a lot. I'll probably be back maybe tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I have a stomach ache. Yeah, that's what happens when you eat dinner for 10 people. Okay, so that is the live that currently just ended. Phew, if it's over. Oh, man, she's so mad. That, the little bits of rage in that stream combined with the community tab posts from earlier today. Yes, I do believe that they've been fighting. I do believe that she needed an outlet for her rage, and I think I am that outlet for her rage. So, Okay, asshole, take it out on the undeserving. I'll take it. No problem. Be that schmuck. Don't pretend to be pious, though. Ay -ay -ay. Yes, 10 people's dinner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are now going to go back and do what we were going to do when we started this stream, which was to watch the video that she had put out uh, earlier today, cooking an Arabic breakfast. An Arabic breakfast, because... She still doesn't know when to use Arabic versus Arab or Middle Eastern, Kuwaiti, whatever. Let me get the, uh, the dab. Hold on. All right. Hello, guys. You'll not believe where I have my phone clipped in the cupboard. Yeah. Well, I mean, what can I do? Okay. You might see a few fruit, fruit flies because I have fruits and vegetables out in the open. But... Anyway, um, so today I'm going to get my chef apron on because I'm going to cook for you and me and my husband um, a traditional Syrian breakfast that my husband's. Oh, wow. You see what I was saying about her eyes look so fucked up. She looks awful this is why people were asking her about her swelling face and stuff in the live stream it had to do with this video what is going on underneath her eyes wow scarf chin specs yeah this is the woman who comes out and talks shit about other people's looks other people's skin other people's everything this is also with filters going Holy crap, man. What is going on with your face? What is going on with your eyes? Have you just cried for six hours? It looks like that to me. No BS. Thank you for the super chat. 
He's from Syria. And uh, when I met him, he explained what he likes for breakfast. And it's been a while since anyone cooked him a really good breakfast before I met him. And now I make this almost every day for him. Very simple, very fast. Um, I'm not making pretty much any of this stuff from scratch. So that's why it's fast. But it's that's so cute that she starts this with the delusion of that she's making it for her fake husband. Uh, spoiler alert, she's eating it all alone. This is breakfast for one, and it's not for salad. <laughs> Delulu, thank you for the super chat. It's just a few staple foods. I'm going to show you, you know, traditional staple foods. Um, so let's get to, let's get to. Don't mind the clutter a little bit. Okay, so these pots are clean. It's just that um, for lack of space, I put them on the stove while they're clean because I usually end up using them anyways. All right, so number one thing. Hectic. That kitchen is fucking hectic to me. That can't, I don't necessarily believe that those are all clean items. I don't uh, because, you know, I know Chantal. <laughs> no fucking way. Uh, that kitchen makes me nervous. You've got one element. Everything else has shit over it. There's like a bottle of oil on the stove that heats up and stuff. Uh, that little plastic like shelf thing is right next to the heat of the stove also. And it's got like stuff on it. I don't know. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Things that are a staple in a Arabic breakfast is full. Number one is full medamis, which is... Um, Fava beans. Now there's different variations. Uh, if it were me, my husband doesn't really like onions and peppers. I would fry up some vegetables and put them in. But this is bean, fava beans mashed up with cumin, spices, um, tomato. Now there's also a version where you can add tahina, but I don't have tahina right now. I actually forgot to get some, so I'm not going to add that in there. But with some lemon juice, it's really nice. But even that is in here. Everything is in here. You can't go wrong. All the spices, it's ready to eat. The tomato, everything. So so what you're saying is you either don't know how to make fool or you're too lazy to like soak some beans and make it yourself. <laughs> Somebody with nothing to do all day would rather just crack open a pre-made can of it. Okay, interesting. The fool is number one. Then, and then another staple, eggs, which is the staple of most breakfasts around the, the world, but... Um, I'm going to make them how my husband likes them and I'm going to cook the. Of course that fridge door opens to the wrong direction. Of course it does just to be a little more anxiety inducing and Chantal is wider than her fridge. And that is fucking terrifying. Full in the same pan. So let's get to, okay. So we have the pan here. I'm going to add some olive oil. I know I add a lot of olive oil. It's because this pan is not the best when it comes to nonstick. And she puts the olive oil bottle right back next to the element that's about to be turned on. Oil. Oh, my God. Ah, my anxiety. Put it on, like, medium heat. <laughs> no BS. Thank you for the super chat. I had, to spend, I had to spend hours cleaning this off of my stove before I can use it. Carburetor tune-up condition. Oh, my God. That's the stuff. AC Delco. It says it right, like, the first thing you see. And it's written in English. Carburetor tune-up conditioner. There you go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is she huffing it? I'm really starting to believe that she's huffing it. Sure. I thought it was a, a stove cleaner. Mm -hmm. And now I have no makeup, just lip gloss because I just woke up. My eyes are still red. You can still see my CPAP marks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yeah. First, I have to. I'm going to fry up a few mushrooms for the eggs because, yeah. So mushrooms in a can. Fool from a can that's already prepared. This isn't really cooking from scratch. This is just pre, like a reheating crap that's already done for you. Well, like mushrooms in his breakfast and his eggs. And I do too, actually. They're good. So, can mushrooms. Ugh. 
Don't don't disc can vegetables, okay? Oh, I'm dissing them. <laughs> All right. 16 fucking no, tons it. of vegetables they bought. Fresh, right? God forbid she puts another vegetable into the eggs. A fresh one that you would actually, you know, rinse off and chop up. No, no, no. A can of fucking mushrooms? Ugh. Can I put some mushrooms here? smoking because I think the AC Delco is still <laughs> cooking up. Ah. <sighs> Put the leftovers in a thing for tomorrow's breakfast. Hey, I'm new to being a housewife, okay? So have some mercy on me. It's been over a year and what the fuck does cooking have to do with being a housewife? You're 400 and something pounds and you claim to be able to cook. In theory, you should be able to whip this up in no time. There's no actual cooking involved so far. What the fuck does this have to do with being a housewife? And housewife would have made the pool stay and gonna get my eggs ready. All right. Ow. I guess I'm not as hard headed as everyone thinks. <laughs> Where's the rest of the egg? Now? You gotta hurry and do it. So that the mushrooms don't burn. Oh my god, this is so manic. Yeah, she said my eggs. Listen, I told you a spoiler alert. She's gonna sit down. This is a serving for one. She sits down alone and eats her fucking breakfast. But of course, my husband, my husband, my Syrian breakfast for my husband. No, 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 no. It's for her. Okay. And then we'll take a fork. And we beat it. Beat it. Yay. Now, the mushrooms have a lot of moisture because they're canned, so that's why you're hearing that. I'm going to turn the heat down a bit. Try not to fry my abaya sleeves. Put some salt. I need more black pepper. Oh my god, get on with it. Yeah. This is so bad. Here it comes. She can't cook for shit at all. Cooking makes her stress. Yeah, her cooking makes me stressed. <laughs> The sun, and I say it's all right. Do -do 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 -do. I know it looks, you're probably thinking, looks a bit weird, but don't judge a breakfast by skin, okay? Now, no, it's probably very good. I'm not saying that. It, I mean, I don't want that for breakfast, but I'm not a breakfast person like that. But nobody said that it looks weird. I said it looks lazy. I think it's lazy that you can't make your own fucking beans. Fool is like a super, super easy thing to make. It's unfuck upable because you want it all mushed kind of anyway. You know what I mean? Um, claims to be a housewife. There's no housewifey things. Everything you're making is like pre-made just open a can and crack it in open a can of mushrooms crack it in what the fuck is this it's it's gross and lazy just like everything else she does put the food back Ugh. now i let that cook on one side of the pan here and i'm gonna put the eggs on the other when the food gets to be a good temp, because the eggs, they don't take long to cook, right? So you just got to heat the food through. It's already pretty much cooked. Ugh. Oh, also, we have to put some potato fry, fries in the air fryer. Yes, you got to put the French fries in the air fryer for our breakfast. 
because bread and beans and everything else, that's not enough for a breakfast for somebody who's not going to do anything all day. Let's have some fucking fried French fries for breakfast. Pour in the eggs. And with the mushrooms. Oh, gross. I will. Hello, I'm so happy you're in my kitchen with me today. All right, air fryer time. My air fryer needs to be clean. So bad. My air fryer needs to be cleaned so bad, she says. Is she taking it out to go and wash it? No, of course not. She's just going to, you know, keep on cooking in that filthy fucking air fryer. Just a few. Ah, yeah, like filthy waters in the fries. Peanut bread. <laughs> Gross. Here comes the sun. All right, good job. Yeah, thank you for the super chat, girl. Thanks. Come here. There's a little bit of cheese inside the eggs. I like using the processed burger cheese slices because they melt better and they have like a more tangy-ness to them. More tangy. No, you're trash. You're you're uncultured swine taking your plastic off of your slice of cheese to put in your eggs. Dich, disgusting. Bottom 90% of YouTube. Thank you for the super chat. For the crowd, the under eye region is linked with kidney health slash failure. She's retaining fluid from consuming excessive sodium. Incoming chronic kidney disease arc. Yikes. He's such a bad cook. Oh, no, no. Pam G, come on. No cheese on the eggs isn't even an option. She's only eating the eggs to have a vessel to get the cheese into her gullet. That's a Beatles, Beatles song. For any of you musically illiterate people. Although, I will admit, I'm completely music illiterate when it comes to Taylor Swift. So I can't talk. Okay, guys. <laughs> I this is her ultra uh, Syrian breakfast, by the way. Let's see. She got a little shit there and a little olives. A little, I don't even know, even Lebanon or something. I don't know. What is that? That's a piece of that fucking, what, what does she always call that? The mortadella from the can that she always claims is for him. There she goes eating the food again that she goes out of her way to claim is for him. That's, that's a, a chunk of that shit. <laughs> it's always for him, you guys. Yeah, it's like a toddler tray. You're right. The fries, tomato, more cheese in the corner because, you know, Chantal. Prepared some more traditional things. We have some labna with za'atar and olive oil. Za'atar is like a thyme seasoning. Black olives, makdus, the pickled eggplant, stuffed with nuts and peppers. Mortadella, french fries, and tomato and jubin. Jubin is cheese. I know I'm sweaty. <laughs> Imagine being that sweaty. You haven't really done anything. You threw two, like, trotter fulls of fries into an air fryer. It's not even like you fried like that in the kitchen. You cracked open a can of beans that was already prepared, and you just had to heat it, and you fried a couple of eggs. All you did was fry some eggs, and you're this fucking sweaty. Making a full breakfast with an abaya. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, but you know. And we didn't okay. make a full breakfast. And now. We have some food and eggs. So I'm going to go prepare the table and I'll see you guys in a second. All right. That is a massive breakfast for one person. One person who does nothing all day and does not need a breakfast like that. She didn't prepare this for salad. She prepared it for herself. All right, so here it is.
drinks for one person, set up for one person, that's all for her. One tea uh, cup on the table. Bismillah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take yeah. just a bite of some things to show you. Okay. Number one, my, one of my favorite things to do is take a piece of cheese and tomato. Mmm. <laughs> Piece of bread. Some mapoos with the bread, the pickled eggplant. Yes, it's a Chantal sliced breakfast, you know. It takes a lot of energy to then go over to the couch and flop over on your side and start searching for yourself on YouTube all day. She's got to really load up. Yes, all three plates. Everything she just made was for herself to eat for breakfast. Inside? Mm. See, that's assuming that the husband is there. <laughs> We have some alabna, egg, mm. we don't use a fork, we, we don't use a fork, you never have, stop it. Let's try this for Very nice, very good brand. So this is it. We just watched a video where Chantal lies and pretends she's making breakfast for her husband, when in reality, she's making herself a three-course breakfast for herself. Uh, and now she's going to sit there and eat it with her hands. And this is content. Why lie? Just be like, yes, I just woke up. I'm hungry. Let me uh, make some food. It's for my husband. My husband is Syrian. And this is traditional Syrian breakfast, which is not, by the way. Not even fucking close. This is slop on three plates. Ever. Mm -mm -mm. This is my favorite. This <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh. Get that fucking oh. cat off the table. Stupid fucking idiot. That's why the cat begs. The cat's there begging instead of shooing it away. No, let me break you off a piece and feed you the piece right on top of my plate of food. Yeah, you can't blame the cat. Kathy, good point. You're right. Thank you for the super chat. All right, you guys. I just wanted to eat a bit to show you, but I'm going to call my husband to breakfast now and enjoy the rest of my Bye. day. Um, this is pretty much the kind of breakfast we eat almost daily. Um, for me, I love the eggplant, the bread, the cheese, tomatoes. Cheese and tomatoes are my ultimate favorite thing. I always have to have fresh tomatoes in the house. And the food. I always have to have fresh tomatoes in the house. You always just need hella food in the house. You're full of shit. You just made yourself three plates of food for breakfast. I'm sure you do eat it every day. But please don't lie to us all and tell us that you lost 16 pounds. Come on. And eggs. Very good. So these are some traditional items you will see in an Arabic breakfast. Depending on the region you're from, this is um, mostly how, like I said, my husband would eat growing up. A lot of these staple foods, especially the makbuz, is mostly a Syrian thing. You'll see it at a lot of Syrian grocery stores here. I did do a video on a Syrian grocery store um, in the past, so um, that's somewhere on my channel. I can try to link it below in the description. But um, yeah, so I'm going to enjoy breakfast, and I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. And there's leftover, so I made Howie a little egg burrito. He loves eggs and, and bread. Enjoy your egg burrito, Howie. Oh, God. I don't want to see this. I, I don't even, I know y'all are going to start putting it in the chat. I don't know, but I just assume you're not supposed to give a rat fink bread. You're not supposed to give a rat fink egg. There's eggs that have like hella spices in them and stuff. Fucking idiot. Stop.
Stop. Okay, yeah, Howie is alive, but which Howie are we on now? Howie 18? Howie 26? God only knows. But yes, Howie is there. <laughs> Can't believe he's alive. Yeah, well, <sighs> I got no words. Yes, the rat fink. The rat fink has made an appearance. That's a different hamster. Could definitely be. Definitely be. Anyway, Chantal, don't give your rat fink bread like that. Don't give the rat fink eggs that have spices in them. That's just like asking for problems. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's such a schmuck. She only did that to show that Howie was there. Totally, totally agree with you. People mention him a little, so she pops him on the screen. No one cares. No one cares. I don't believe that that's original Howie. And I also don't really care. I don't want to see the rat fink. Uh, and I certainly don't want to see her feeding bread and spicy eggs to a rat thinks that's just insane. Uh, Harry the 30th, 125th, it could be. Pet ownership 101, right? You don't need to know anything about rat thinks specifically to know that you don't feed any pet spicy eggs. That's just stupid as all hell, but she is stupid as all hell. Anyway, y'all. <sighs> that is us caught up in real time in Shadtopolis, including, of course, the live stream that she was doing when we came live because she's a bitch like that. <laughs> I don't know. We had our thing already scheduled. She chose to come live. It's fair game at that point, I figure. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. A whole ass day and nothing. But she's very, very mad. Uh, rage on the community tab. Raged a little bit at me in the live that she did. She wants to take out all her anger on me, even though she's angry at her, you know, cheater, fake husband, incel, freak who hates women. Fake husband. Did I add that? Okay. Take out all your rage on me. Do whatever you need to do, Chantal. I don't care. But just understand, you're not fooling anyone for a heartbeat that is bullying or tit for tat or whatever else. This is just misplaced anger. Do whatever you need to do, schmuck. Anyway, y'all. Thank you so, so much for being here and catching up, spending a little time with the girl gang on your Saturdays, whatever you're doing with the rest of your Saturdays or Sundays. If you're in the future in Australia, enjoy, have a great time, have fun. Please be safe, whatever you're doing, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.